Hello boys and girls and welcome to Arsenal TV. This is my preview for the Southampton versus Arsenal game, which is tomorrow at the Emirates Stadium. Yeah, this is a massive, massive game for us. You know, this is a time for us to get top four. You know, we're one point behind Man United to actually get into that top four spot. So really, to be honest for us, it is a very, very massive, important game. Now, if you remember... We played against Southampton uh, at the start of this uh, season and we was on a massive 22-game unbeaten run. And then when it came to us playing against Southampton away from home, we lost. See, I haven't got a problem with us playing at home. It's more or less for us when we play away from home is our massive, massive problem. You know, Southampton, well, Southampton, they've got a change of manager now. They've also, you know, their results have been very, very mixed so, um, yeah, and not just that Southampton are, are fighting to get out of that relegation. And it's going to be very, very tough. Now, for Arsenal, if you look at Arsenal, well, you know, we came back from Bait Borishoff in the, you know, in the midweek game. And uh, we didn't play too badly, to be quite honest. We had that freedom, you know, compared to the first leg of the Europa League. We, don't, we didn't do too badly. Um, it was nice to see Ozil back in the side. And um, hopefully now, Ozil might even get picked for the next couple of games. Um, but these games coming up are very, very tough for us. You know, we've got Bournemouth next game. We've got Man United, Tottenham, back-to-back. -back. So it's very, very tough for us at this precise moment. Um, but we just hope that Liverpool uh, can beat Man United uh, uh, tomorrow. And obviously, Chelsea in their game uh, in the league. So, so guys, with that said, um, let's get into my predicted lineup for this game. I'm actually going with a 4-2-3-1, and this is what I expect. So, we're going to start off in goal, and that is Bernd Leno, pretty plain and simple choice. Um, you know, he is a Premier League goalkeeper, and that is it, guys. Uh, and now, we're going to move into the flat four, and uh, the flat four, this is what I am going with. Um, at right back, I'm going to go with Stefan Lichsteiner. Um, simple reason I'm going with Lichsteiner is because uh, based on his performance uh, against Bate Borishov, that's the reason why, you know, he is a natural right, he's a natural right back. And not just that, he, he wasn't getting caught out a lot of times during that, on that right side. Um, and not just that, you know. It was like watching Lichsteiner from Juventus and obviously during pre-season. So that is what I'm going to go with. I'm going to go with Stefan Lichsteiner. We're going to move into the two centre-backs. And um, first off, I'm going to go with Mustafi. Um, didn't do too bad, to be honest, against uh, Bait Borishov. Did what he had to do. Um, pretty much a comfortable night, I would say. And um, yeah, so I'm going to go with Mustafi. Playing alongside him is going to be Socrates. It's nice to see him back in the team. Um, played against Bate Borishov, got a goal when he came back. So absolutely brilliant, nicely done. Um, and we've missed him. We've absolutely missed Socrates. So I'm glad that he's back in the side. So I'm going to go with Socrates. Um, playing in that left-back position, uh, I'm going to go with C. Kolesianek. Uh, I think Kolesianek has played well for the past couple of games. Yes, he's still not that great defensively. Um, but it's his pace going to that final third where he can cut in and, um, you know, do little cutbacks to create those chances for goals. And that's what I like. So I'm going to go with Seed Kolesianek. We're going to move into the midfielding area, um, the two that sit in front. Um, first off is going to be Lucas Torreira. Um, he got a couple of minutes uh, for um, Bait Borishov game, so... Uh, I hope that he can come into the Premier League and get a good start and hopefully he will, um, you know, give us more balance in that midfield. And that's no disrespect to Gwendozi, but uh, yeah, I'm going to go with Lucas Torreira. Playing alongside him is going to be Granit Xhaka. Um, brilliant performance from uh, Granit Xhaka the other night against Bate Borishov. Brilliant performance from him. Um, he done these really good lofted passes straight out to the side to create those chances. But apart from that, he, he had he had a very, very good performance. Uh, and he also got two assists as well. So that's even better. So I'm going to go with Granite Xhaka. We're going to move into the attacking areas, the three in front. 
Um, first off, out on the right side, I am going to go with Pierre Emerick Aubameyang. Um, yes, he didn't have that great, uh, that good of a game against Bate Borishov, but you know he did what he had to do. You know, it's very, it was a quiet night for him. I would say um, didn't really have to do that much. So that is what I'm going to go with Pierre Emerick Aubameyang. Uh, out on the left hand side, I'm going to go with Alex Owobi. Uh, you know my thoughts on Alex Awobi. The only thing what's really bothering me about him is just his end product. Uh, apart from that, I think that he's doing okay. Um, if he can just work on that and to create those chances, um, no, sorry, and to get into goal scoring opportunities, then I think that you know Alex Awobi would be fine. Um, but he just needs to work on that end product. Uh, apart from that, I thought he had a good game at Bait Borishoff as well. Got down the flank, created the chances. So yeah, I'm going to go with Alex Awobi. Playing in that number 10 role, I'm going to go with Mizzet Ozil. Um, I honestly think that Mizzet Ozil needs to be in this game. Uh, simple reason, if you go back and look at the Bait Borishoff game. Now, people will say, well, he didn't score no goals. He didn't get no assists. He was shit. No, no, no. Go back, watch the whole 90 minutes again and watch he, and watch Ozil on his own. Um, watch his movement when he's off the ball, where he goes into those spaces to open the chance to get in behind the defence. It's his movement, guys, that really does, um, you know, give us those goal-scoring opportunities. When he hasn't been on the field, that is what we've missed. We've missed Mizzet Ozil to do that. Because um, you look at it, I don't think Mkhitaryan can do it, and I don't think Ramsey can do it, you know? Um, so I'm going to go with Mizzet Ozil. Playing up front as a leading striker is Alexandre Lacazette. Uh, it's good to see him. It would be nice to see him back in the team, um, get some goals underneath his belt. Um, only problem is, guys, he's been suspended for the next two uh, meetings uh, in the Europa League. So he can't play the first leg, can't play the second leg. Great. Um but yeah, I'm going to go with Lacazette up front. Um, so guys, that has been the preview. That has been my predicted lineup. Let me know in the comment section below if you agree with my 1-11 to or not. Uh, let me know of your predicted score. I'm going to go 3-1. I'll go 3-1 because I don't think we're going to keep a clean sheet. So I'm going to go with a 3-1 win. 7 o'clock tonight, guys. Um, I'm going to be joined by a, a good friend of mine. Uh, Nick Klaus, uh, and also a fellow work colleague of mine. We are going to be uh, doing like a little a little preview about the uh, Southampton game. He is a Southampton fan, um, so please do keep a lookout on my channel for that as well. Uh, until next time, guys, you've been watching Arsenal TV, and I am out of here. Shit.